Hey everybody, welcome to Country Girl. Today we're doing the um, surprise Dollar Tree haul. Caitlin went and um, to the Dollar Tree and I gave her $20, or told her to, she could buy 20 items. Um, so she went in the Dollar Tree. She's probably in there for about 45 minutes maybe. And um, so anyway, I haven't looked at any of these bags, so um, I'll be seeing them for the first time when you're seeing them. So let's get started. We're gonna start, just give me, hand me a bag and I'll go through it and we'll. But what if I don't give you a good bag? Well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. She says she got a lot of food items, so. Is your stomach growling? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I like these. This is the Black Forest Swirly Gummy Bears, and these things are so delicious. I love these things. 10 out of 10 would eat again. Huh? Like, where is it? I said 10 out of 10 would eat again. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> So, my girl knows me and the gummy bear, so she did good on this. Good job, sweetie. Black Forest, they also sell Black Forest at Walmart. And, um, she went up size of it for $3. Yeah, and a lot of times you'll see them, especially at Halloween, they'll um, have a lot of the um, little packs to give for um, trick or treat instead of candy. They'll have that, and it's Black Forest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, the next item that we got <laughs> is some Sour Punch uh, straws. Um, she got at late night. She's always like, Caitlin, do you have any candy? Do you have anything sour? I want something chewy. So candy, it's chewy and sour. Um, she knows my taste. So power, power punch straw. I can't even talk. These sour be, punch straws. These will be hidden until she absolutely begs for them. Because if they're not hidden and she doesn't absolutely want them, she'll eat them all in one sitting. Okay, now this must be for Daddy because this yeah. is not a big thing for me. Yeah, for but that's Daddy. the Miss Freshly's um, honey buns. I uh, hauled some of these around Easter to put in my husband and my father's Easter basket. So um, I guess that's going to be going to him. Yep. Macaroni and cheese. Guess who that's <laughs> and for? See, this is just strange because I don't really buy a lot of food from the Dollar Tree. I, get, I love food. Were you hungry when you went into the Dollar Tree? I might should have no. fed her first. <laughs> but anyway, Caitlin likes macaroni and cheese, so that's fine. Hey, I was thinking. At least I know these items can be put to use. Yes, definitely. My stomach. Oh, you know, this is pretty neat. Um, it's called Chalk Blast Explosion. Create art with every toss. And I actually saw someone haul this just the other day and thought that might be something that my girls would like. So this is, I think, a fairly new product. I'm not really sure exactly how it works. Yeah, I think you throw it at the ground and it just explodes. Okay, well that's cool. They have a bunch of different colors. Well, it says 200 plus throws. So I guess um, I when it hits, point. whatever whatever it's in, it must just like um, let, out a let out a little bit of powder at a time until it's done so we'll see we'll have to take this somewhere we don't have sidewalks at our house because we have a gravel driveway so we live in the country um maybe we can they could take it to my mom's house and destroy her driveway <laughs> okay and then we got um a nickelodeon chase mini figurine paw patrol paw patrol um ha yeah i was gonna say it has to be for eli because he likes Paw Patrol. Of course, I think Stephanie said he's kind of getting out of that. Oh, well, he doesn't have any Paw Patrol things. Okay, well, Caitlin was shopping for everyone tonight. Not just Mama. <laughs> okay, and then we got a dinosaur. Guess who asked for? I guess this is also for Eli. Yes, so. it is. I spent a lot of time in the toy section. Anyway, I mean, this isn't, they have got some really cute little uh, play toys like this. I don't usually buy these because, you know, I've got girls and they're practically grown. And I don't buy Eli much stuff, but um, they definitely do. If I had some little boys, I mean, this is definitely the place to go if you want to get like any little figurines, little dinosaurs, any kind of animals, zoo animals. It's true that babies um, tend to like the cheaper things. Yeah, so this is cute. He'll like that. We might just leave this over here so he can play with it when he comes over here. And then, sorry, there's something else in here. Ah, oh, we got a candle, Free Spirit. It doesn't have a heavy scent because she doesn't like heavy scents. Um, and this is the Rose Collection. It's going to see what it says on the back about if it tells what kind of scent it is. But it is very subtle. I don't know what kind of throw it's going to have. Um, 
she she doesn't like heavy scents because they like give her a headache. So yeah. So I feel like that was subtle and it, like the design was pretty. Got a nice little candle. All right, that's bag number one. We'll do this bag too, Madeline. We'll put them in At least I'm gonna have some nice sour, chewy things to chew on tonight. And I've been doing this late because um, our power went out. And I would have waited till tomorrow morning to do this, but um, I wanted to know what was in these bags. So we're doing this at, I don't my battery's dead. What is it, 11 o'clock at night, something like that? 11, 19. All right, um, this is a bag of popcorn, and this is for Madeline. This is actually pretty good popcorn. It's delicious. Um, it's very good, but if you start eating too much of it, it will, the salt will start to get to you because it is kind of salty. So you have to be careful if you're looking to control your sodium. This isn't what you want to get, but this is it's pretty brands. good, you know. So if you want to have you a movie night, that's something it has nice a to get. little Bible verse on the back to remind you to be faithful. And then this is the gourmet white cheddar popcorn. I wonder who this is for. It's for me because I like white cheddar. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's by Brims too. Yeah, so anyway, that one's for me. Golly, I'm gonna be eating all day tomorrow. I got you so much food. <laughs> and see, all this stems from the fact that Caitlin was torn about what to get. And I know it's what it was. She was in Dollar Tree for a long time and I thought she's either in there for a long time because she's turned into me or because she's struggling about what to get because she's afraid that she's going to not get something that I'm going to want or enjoy or whatever. That's it. And I didn't want that to be that way. And I even told her before she got out of the car, get whatever you want. Just make sure it's useful. I mean, I really didn't care. It didn't matter if it was a pair of socks, whatever. So instead, she just goes and gets a bunch of food. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was looking through her videos while I was in there because I didn't want to get something you already had. And everything I picked up, I had like a basket full of stuff. And I was like, nope, she has that. Put that back. And then I went to the bathroom. I found some good stuff that I actually wanted to get her that she didn't bathroom. have. I went to the bathroom after I got the stuff. And I came back out and my cart was gone. And then I went up to the front and I said, I had a cart and it was full of stuff and I need it back. And they were like, oh, I'm sorry, we haven't seen any carts. There's only two people working here. We've both been here the whole time. So somebody stole her cart while she was in the bathroom. Yeah. And the kind of person that I am... I would have went through that store and chased that person down and been like, excuse me, but hey, did I you just scared. really take my cart while I was in the bathroom? I was scared. Anyway, so um, she got me some of these veggie chips, and I've hauled these before. They're pretty good. Um, if you haven't seen my other video where I hauled these, it's got potatoes, sweet potato, beetroot, and cassava chips. The cassava chips look very much like the potato chips. Um, there is a little bit of a difference to the flavor and the texture. The beetroot um, is pretty strong, but it was one of my favorites out of the bag. They don't really put uh, that much in there. So this is a really good little snack. So, And they're probably better for you than potato chips. It says 150 calories um, per serving. There's two servings in this bag. So whole bag's 300 calories, and that's a pretty decent sized bag. All right, so that was bag number two. I think we're getting out of here. I hope we're going to get to the good stuff now. <laughs> yeah, because I put all the food up there first. There might be a couple more items of food. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I wanted to go in that Dollar Tree so bad tonight. I was sitting there looking at that, and I thought, oh, my gosh. I bet they've got so much cool new stuff in this Dollar Tree. No, they didn't. And she's going to walk by every bit of it and go to the food section. No. They did not have any any new stuff that I knew you would want. This has got to be for Caitlin. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> Glozell <laughs> Green. Okay, let's look at the original price. Is you okay? You know what? I She is funny. I will have to say, I think she is funny. I forgot I got that. I for a that. dollar, I mean, Okay, look on. at the original price at the, at, the, at the beginning. The original price, where? $23.99. $23.99. I don't know. I guess you, um, you're going to read this book. Yeah, because Emily has been looking for it, I think. Oh, when you got it for Emily? Well, no, not particularly, because she said, she says something about how she came out with a book, and I thought she might want it. And I saw it there, so I was like, oh. Okay. I was trying to see what it actually, if this is supposed to be like about her life. What's it supposed to be like? It's Did you about, look and see? Look, it says it right here. A revealing. It's candy. a memoir. Um, 
on one of our favorite beloved internet stars. You know the woman that got the bucket thrown at her and her wreath fell off? That was the first time. <laughs> that's the first time I ever seen her. And I laughed so hard I almost peed in my pants. No. When she, they were doing that ice bucket challenge and somebody threw water at her and knocked her wig off because she wasn't ready. She didn't know that. Uh, I guess I, she didn't know. I don't know. But supposedly she didn't know they were going to throw the bucket at the time they did it. And oh my gosh, that was really funny. Let's get down below. Oh yeah, I guess I can link that video yeah. down below. I'll link that video down below so y'all can see that. But anyway, so evidently okay? that's okay? either going to be Caitlin's yeah. book or her Emily. niece Emily's book so alright paper plates I've hauled these before but I do need some so I'm, kind of, I'm glad she picked those up I mean I picked up the other one with the pelicans on them first but then Aww. I didn't have these. hey <laughs> she picked up a Mother's Day card but I already <laughs> seen it you weren't supposed to close something like that in your 20 items. Hey, yeah, with the image 20 items, I'm a dollar over. <laughs> okay, well, I know what the front of it looks like, but I hadn't read the inside because she yanked it away from me. Okay, paint with water. Little paint with water. But I used to love these when I was a kid. That's just something I wanted to play with. Um, yeah, I mean, the colors aren't wonderful, but I don't know. just something about it when you're a kid. It just makes you feel like you're doing something neat. You just have to control your water because I remember I would always put too much water on my brush and my colors would run together and smear. But these are some really cute little pictures. So, there's a lot of the princess. I got a little mermaid. That's cute. And then Rapunzel. That's really cute. So, anybody that's got little kids that like stuff like this, Sleeping Beauty. Let's see. Madeline's asking where Moana is. I don't think Moana's made it yet. Where to is Lila? A legendary princess. She's not even a princess. Um, I'm not sure where she is. What is this princess? Princess and the Frog. No, that's the fish princess. I don't think there's a fish princess. Anyway, so she got her a little paint book. Uh, even Shasta made out on this deal. <laughs> Caitlin goes to the Dollar Tree. She thinks about everybody else. I go to the Dollar Tree. I only think about me. <laughs> hey, I'm a good person. The only person That's I... true. I do buy people other people things at the Dollar Tree, too. Yeah, me. Uh, I just don't do that much in one haul. They might, one or two might get something out of my haul each time. Canine carryouts, bacon flavor. Our dog loves the bacon <laughs> strips. And so... I think we've bought these for her before, either her or my mom has, so I think she'll really like these. So, and it's good because she's actually out of treats right now. Now, Caitlin, you did a wonderful job on this. I'm happy and excited about this one. Do not worry and be happy. Oh my gosh. I really like this. My idea. Uh -oh. Great job, Caitlin. Oh my goodness, I love this. It's got the lined paper, um, 60 sheets. Most of these are always 60 sheets. There's a few notebooks I picked up that were a little bit less for the most part. And um, I haven't seen this one yet. I've seen some of the other ones in the same type, um, I guess, um, I think I'll say design. But um, when they put out some of these, you know, they have all different kinds of designs. I think I've seen the other designs. I just haven't seen this one. This is super cute. So kudos, Caitlin. That makes up for some of the food items Look, and then I've got me a stuff to do a cute little um, shopping list or uh, um, little list pad and this is magnetic um, I guess this is kind of like their little summer theme I haven't seen these so they must be new um, anyway the watermelon and she said one of the other ones that they had um, was like a little grocery shopping list had a little grocery bag on it and it was um, in her gro her little cart that someone took off with tonight, and she said it was the last one they had, so she couldn't go it back had, and like, get it. It had like the sections, like the like it said meats, dairy, snacks, like the one she has now that she likes. Okay, and then she picked me up some glue sticks. You're almost out. Can't never have too many glue sticks, you know. Actually, used some of those today in a DIY that y'all will see in a few days. I'm oh, not completely that's for done me. with that yet. Uh, modeling clay. That's for my project at school. So Caitlin bought her some modeling clay. Caitlin bought herself. She 
bought herself quite a bit of stuff. I bought myself stuff? That's the only thing I bought myself. This is the last item. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, is it my see this now? Yeah. Okay, so Caitlin bought me a mug that says Mom. How sweet. To remind yourself that you're a mother and you can't forget your children. <laughs> so, yay. I thought maybe she was not going to show me this and was going to give it to me with a little card that I've seen and shouldn't have. So, anyway, these are the items that... Huh? I'm going to take the card back. No, you're not. There's a different one. No. I hadn't seen the inside of that one. If I have, I don't remember it. So, anyway, she did good. Everything's useful. I told her to make sure she got useful items, that she could buy items either for herself or that I could give away to other people. So, she did. I have to say my favorite item out of the haul is this cute little um, notebook and then my gummy bears. Those are my two, my two favorite items. So, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this haul. I hope Caitlin enjoys shopping. Not really. It was stressful. Yeah. I figured it probably would be. No, because there was so much stuff I wanted to get you, and then I realized you already had it. I'm sorry. And even though she sees things that I get, um, I guess it's just ain't the same because she's not always with me. So she's really not sure if I, you know, because some things, I guess, when I do get them, I don't always show her everything if she don't watch my all my videos. And... So I don't know, but I figured, I thought it might be a little bit stressful for her. I thought that's why she was taking a long time in there and I hate that, but you know, at least I didn't get anything I've already got. It would have been better if you wouldn't be there so much. <laughs> <laughs> Can't surprise me from the Dollar Tree. So anyway. Yeah, if she wasn't there so much, maybe I, you would have got a bunch of cute stuff. I had so much cute stuff that I knew for a fact that you would like. And then I kept remembering, she already has that. Can't get that. Put that back, Caitlin. She already has Well, that. I really thought, too, because it seems like that there has been a surge of new items that have been coming out of other people's Dollar Trees. And this Dollar Tree I took her to tonight is usually one of the first in my area that gets the newer items. So, and I think they usually, they unload their truck on Thursdays. Um, so, I was like, well... You know, that means they probably just recently put some new stuff out. And I was hoping that when she went in there, there would be enough new stuff that she would spot when she went in there that there wouldn't be a problem with her wondering, you know, what she should or shouldn't get. But she said the shelf, a lot of the shelves were pretty empty, so. Like, where all the decor, like, when you walk in, all, like, the, all the def decorations, like, the summer stuff and all that, those shelves were wiped clean. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe they, maybe their truck Thursday ain't going to come in until next week to fill everything up. I don't know. But anyway. I hope y'all enjoyed um, being surprised with me on this Dollar Tree haul. And mm -hmm. I will be um, eating quite a bit, it looks like, tomorrow. So, I will be drinking out of my coffee mug tomorrow morning. So, thank you, sweetie. Y'all have a good night, and I will see y'all soon. Bye.